So believe it or not, the holiday shopping season is upon us. Here are some of my picks for the best gifts for Apple fans in your life. So I'm going to start off by talking about some general ideas, not actually some specific products. For instance, there are three things that you wear on your head that make it a good gift for Mac or iPhone users. For instance, one would be a set of noise canceling headphones. The earbuds are pretty good headphones but not good at all if you're in a noisy environment like an airplane. I find I have to turn the volume up on my iPhone almost all the way to be able to hear dialogue in a movie or in a podcast. So a set of noise canceling headphones can run you 40, 50 bucks up to several hundred dollars. You can pick the quality level that's right for the gift that you want to get. Also another type of headphones are headsets. USB headsets that you can plug into your Mac. These include a microphone and are much better than using the internal microphone in your Mac, say if you use your Mac for iChat or for Skype or even for recording a bit of audio for podcasts. Again, these can be pretty cheap, 20 or 30 bucks, usually above $50 to get better quality, and then you could spend several hundred dollars for some top notch headsets. Another thing you might want to look at are Bluetooth headsets. These usually fit just over one ear and you can use them to connect through Bluetooth to your iPhone and make hands-free calls with more and more states putting restrictions on using phones without hands-free equipment. This could make a really good gift and some of them are pretty reasonably priced. So ask a Mac person if they like their mouse. Chances are if it's an older mouse they don't like it at all. It may not even have a second button. And there are a lot of people that aren't too happy with their mighty mouse either. So you may want to look at the Magic Mouse as a good gift. I find that people that actually have it and use it love it. I know I do and it's pretty reasonably priced and make a nice gift. A fun gift for an Apple fan may be a t-shirt. Take a look at episode 279 of Mac Most Now and you find all sorts of suggestions. So gifts are supposed to be fun so why not get them a game for their Mac. The most popular game right now for the Mac is The Sims 3 which should be suitable for just about anybody. But if they're more of a hardcore gamer you can get them Call of Duty 4. Another idea is to get them World of Warcraft so they can finally check it out. And if you're looking for maybe an older game that could appeal to both casual gamers and hardcore gamers alike, look at Spore. It worked really well on the Mac when it came out and now on the new Macs it runs great. Another idea is to take a look at which iPod they have. If they've got an old one it may be time for an upgrade. The new iPod Nano from this year has so many features that weren't available on previous versions of iPods. For instance, there's a pedometer, there's a video recorder, there's an internal microphone for recording voice, there's an FM radio, and all sorts of other things. So it may be a good time for an upgrade. Another idea may be a subscription to MobileMe. If the person is still using their default email address given to them by their ISP, then having a me.com email address might be reason enough. But also you've got things like photo galleries, the ability to sync and share, backup, all sorts of things. And you can get an actual box with the description code in it if you buy it from Amazon which is even cheaper than buying it online directly from Apple. Of course if you notice the person you want to get a gift for is always buying iPhone apps or buying music or renting or buying movies you can just get them an iTunes gift card. This will cover all of that and they can use it for the items that they want. Of course if they're new to the Mac another great gift idea might be to say get them a book. So let's not let the list end here. I want to hear from you and find out what gifts you would suggest in all sorts of price ranges. Just leave a comment to this post at MacMost.com and we'll keep the list going and share ideas. Till next time this is Gary Rosenzweig with MacMost Now.